My memories are a little clearer now, but I wish they weren't. Because I remember about how Earth was dying, subject to unbelievable earthquakes and ravaged by tsunamis. Theories abound to why this was, but I'm not into conspiracies much. All I know is that our world leaders knew that it was only a matter of time before the Earth wouldn't be able to sustain us anymore, and they kept it all under wraps. I don't know if it was the riots or the anarchy that pressed them, but they finally came clean and told us that there was a countdown to Earth's certain doom, as all these disasters would only grow worse. These leaders would get together and throw around ideas on how to deal with this issue, and the one that stuck the one proposed by Professor Sibylla May Flores, which revolved around the use of her gravity manipulation nuclear power device, the Grav Drive, for its ability to allow travel at 15% the speed of light. Her idea involved using her device to propel two vessels which would be created in orbit, one an arc ship which would later be named after her, the SM Flores, and a scout ship, the Caravel. These would carry a number of people to the nearest habitable planet. This expansion project, as it would come to be known, would be backed by heads of state and multinational CEOs under the banner of the Enoch Colonization Authority, the ECA for short, named after the planet researched and targeted for our voyage, Enoch. The problem was that this arc ship could only sustain 500,000 people and the scout ship even less the latter being reserved for the original Outriders, a group formed by the ECA filled with the finest engineering, scientific, and military minds that the Earth had left to offer. Due to the limited seats, further chaos ensued. I don't even know how I got aboard the Flores or that a mercenary like me deserved it with so many of our better people being left behind. I feel for them as well as for those on the caravel the scout ship which unfortunately didn't make it out of Earth's orbit, as it suffered massive technical failures and taken along with it the outriders that were supposed to have landed first and verify Enoch's habitability. For 83 years we traveled on the Flores, sleeping in cryo, protected by the ship's defenses and a skeleton crew that rotated their wake times for any maintenance issues. It was sadly during one such rotation that we received our last transmission from Earth. Several thousand attempts to reconnect later, and Earth was considered lost. All of this, while most of us slept. And even though I long for sleep, even after having done it for 80 plus years, I know I must remain awake to watch, to chronicle your accolades in small chunks because you are my tether to this consciousness I still have. For if not for you, and the hope your story provides, I would have long been fully erased by this anomaly. So I will remain vigilant, watching. Next time, perhaps recounting your first steps on Enoch. Until then, Outrider. <laughs>